When we look up to a clear night sky, we might consider what we are actually looking at. Are we peering into the past, viewing planets as they were light years ago? Or are we looking into a universe with endless possibilities? Perhaps among the clutter of stars we see, there is a small ball of light barely visible, which is in fact an Earth-like planet with its own civilization. If this was the case, what would that mean for our civilization here on Earth? Would there be mass hysteria or hopeful excitement? Would aliens show up someday and cause worldwide devastation as depicted in scenes from Independence Day or War of the Worlds? From the beginning of civilization, mankind has sought to answer the existential question of, are we alone? In 1961, Dr. Frank Drake developed an equation to postulate the number of communicative extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way. And whilst the equation was written to stimulate scientific debate, rather than quantify the number of civilizations, the result of the equation was that there could be anything between 1,000 and 100 million active alien civilizations out there in the Milky Way galaxy. Recently, however, a study from Oxford University brought us back to Earth with the finding that humanity is probably alone in the universe. The study concluded that the chance that humanity is alone among intelligent civilizations in our galaxy is between 53 and 99.6%, while the chance across the whole observable universe is 39 to 85%. Perhaps in pondering both possibilities, the quote from Arthur C. Clarke might spring to mind. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. On one side of the coin, if we are not alone, we would have to ask, what is our place in the universe? How would such discovery impact on religious belief, particularly that which tells us that we have been created in God's image? How would it affect the views of non-believers and many in scientific circles who would reject out of hand the notion of there being a grand design. Alternatively, if we discover that we are alone, how does this affect theism? And what does it mean for the future of humanity? If it's just about ourselves alone as a seemingly earthbound race, what is the point to life? Is it all just a matter of chance? Perhaps when you consider how humanity has become increasingly hostile and alienated from Mother Earth as we plunder her resources, decimate the natural environment and ignite devastating heat waves, this prospect becomes a more frightening one. As a civilization, we are at an inflection point, regardless of whether ET exists or not because humanity at large is now our biggest existential threat. And it seems our answer to this problem is to spread it rather than solve it. Scientists such as Stephen Hawking have suggested that to ensure our survival as a civilization, we should look to colonize other planets such as Mars, which now appears to offer real possibilities for life through its underground water resources. But by doing this, would anything really change in mankind? As alien planet looters, would our desire to consume continue to outstrip supply? If alien life is life that occurs outside of our earthly plane, then our history, our not-so-blind science, our innate instinct, and our intelligence 
already point to the conclusion that we are not alone. Most people sense that a greater civilization, far more advanced than the humanity we've come to know, does exist, must exist somewhere. Perhaps, unlike the night sky before us, it's known and yet unknown to us. The question, therefore, is not whether a life quite alien to ours exists, but rather more, where is it and what is it? It is no coincidence that as we near the end time of what scripture foretold as the age of revelation, a time which has been most notably defined by the 20th century, humanity's search for signs of alien life has become more urgent and rightly and necessarily so. And while any intelligent alien life, as a civilization or otherwise, might understandably decide to leave humanity to itself, by our science, by our will, our higher conscious evolution, we will find it, knowing that what we think we become, sooner or later, for better or worse. Let's hope humanity finds and likes what it is looking for. So let me know what you think in the comments section. Will we find alien life sooner rather than later? Where might that be? And what form will this life take? If you are new to the Exodus channel, please feel free to subscribe for regular videos on the world around us, the supernatural, and humanity's journey towards enlightenment, peace, and happiness. Thank you.